Herzchen klein ging allein in die weite Welt hinein. Regimental headquarters calling Corporal Steiner. Can you pick me up, Steiner? Steiner, can you hear me? Steiner.
Продолжающий огонь. Есть точка, капитан, продолжать огонь. Дальше мы попали. Попали в цель. Дым с позиции валит. Похоже, мы ущерб причиняем большой. По-моему, они долго не продержатся. Так точно, товарищ капитан. Нам хватит боевиков еще на полтора часа. Дым застилает всю местность. Не видно ничего, товарищ капитан. Yourself. Some ammunition. Give him a hand. Look. Look at that. Nothing we haven't seen before. Steiner. Look what I found running around in the back. A little Russian fledgling. Transportation from checkpoint seven. Right. Bring him with us. Push, 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 push. Come on, come on, quickly. All right, stop. adventure, but I have a feeling that one of these days this land will swallow us up. Captain Stransky, sir. I'm Brand. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. This is my adjutant, Captain Kiesel. Captain, how are you? Thank you for asking, Captain. I feel terrible. I've got diarrhea. How are you? You should meet your own adjutant, uh, Lieutenant Treebig. He's also a new rival. Why don't you join us in a glass of wine? Oh, that's very kind of you, sir. Take my coat, please. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Respect, Cal. A 1937 Mosul in the southernmost corner of Russia. Remarkable. The bottle of Mosul is no more out of place in this region than we are ourselves. Your health, gentlemen? No, I'm not going to drink to my health. It's not worth drinking to. It's the end of the war. Colonel, why does our presence here you are so absurd. Captain, why did you ask to be relieved from uh, duty in France? I want to get the Iron Cross. We can give you one of mine. <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. Actually, it's exactly what my commanding officer in France asked me. I can't stop you, he said. Since I'm convinced that without you, the Eastern Front would collapse in a matter of days, go ahead. 
You heroic horse's ass. You heroic horse's ass. <laughs> His exact words. I withdraw my toast to the end of the war. Two heroic horses' asses everywhere. To the patient flesh. Colonel, I would like to make something quite clear to Captain Kiesel. I volunteered for this campaign because I feel that men of quality are needed here. It is time to destroy the myths of Russian invincibility. And just how do we do that? Bolstering morale, punishing those who are insubordinate and rebellious, instilling a new respect for ranking officers. Their morale goes hand in hand with defeat after defeat, followed by impending defeat. Now, you are new to our Russian front, so I don't blame you for talking like a horse's ass. <laughs> Of course, sir, uh, I'm not familiar with the Russian front yet, but uh, I firmly don't believe that the ideals of the German soldier, even the under German such soldier no has any ideals. He's not fighting for the culture of the West, not for one form of government that he wants, and not for the stinking party. He's fighting for his life. God bless him. Well, sir. I am a soldier, and as a soldier, I feel it is my duty to subordinate my own ideas to the principles of my country, right or wrong. Colonel Brand, Lieutenant Meyer, sir. Ah. <clears throat> yes? Steiner's on his way back! That's not a shape of him. The usual! Very well, I see. I want a briefing as soon as they are arrested. Yes, sir! Captain Stransky is here. See that he's in front of our situation. Yes, sir. <sighs> he's standing on his bed. Of course. Who is Steiner? Uh, to you, in some ways, he could be a problem. But he's a first-rate soldier. And so, he looks the other way. Anything to add to that, Kiesel? Steiner is a myth. But men like him are our last hope. And in that sense, he is truly a very dangerous man. Well, I will see. Colonel? With your permission. Well, what do you think of our new captain? I feel he thinks he's on some kind of special mission. That is to achieve spiritual domination of his battalion. Thereby symbolizing the purity of the great German Wehrmacht itself. Even when going down in defeat. If they're the last of us, Scrancy and Steiner, then God help us! Captain Stransky, welcome to the second platoon. Lieutenant? My captain, I am to show you to your quarters. Brief you on our current situation. Where's my bunker? Down there, in front of the factory, sir. The second platoon is guarding your post. Where are they? They're just uh, returning from reconnaissance, sir. Who's in charge of it? Corporal Steiner, sir. Ah. 
What is so special about this Corporal Steiner? Early in the Novorossiysk attack, Corporal Steiner saved Colonel Brunt's life. Ah. And mine, too. Interesting. Steiner? I'm Captain Stransky. I'm your new commander here. Yes, sir. Who is this? Corporal Snowbart, sir. And the other one? That is a Russian prisoner, sir. You know as well as I do that there are orders that no Russian prisoners are to be taken. Get rid of him. How, sir? Shoot him. You shoot him, sir. I will. On the spot. And then I'll deal with you. No need. I'll see that it's taken care of, sir. in my bunker. One hour. With your full report. Clear? Of course, sir. Prince Steiner? I'm Lily Marlene. Come here, son. Steiner! I want to show you what our new army looks like. What's your name, son? Private Ditzer. They're sending us babies now. Hello, child. Private Dietz. How long have you been soldiering? Six weeks, sir. I volunteered, sir. You don't volunteer for anything around here. Just keep your eye on Kruger here and myself. Do exactly as we say. You'll be wearing boots up your ass for a long time. Clear? Yes, sir. And don't call me sir. Excuse me. Go with this foul smelling one over here. Put him in Schiller's bunker. Mm. 
done. See if we can find a jacket or a blanket. Something for the boy. That Schiller's jacket. He must have something over there. Yes, sir. Oh, excuse me. Stand at ease. Thank you, sir. Can I report? Thank you. I regret the incident this afternoon, Corporal, but orders are orders. We have enough trouble with the feeding of our own troops without taking prisoners. Anyway, it's very bad for security. I've read your preliminary report, and it gives me great pleasure to inform you that Colonel Brand and I have agreed to recommend you for promotion to senior sergeant, effective at once. Your promotion doesn't seem to have made much of an impression. No, it doesn't. All right. I've read your report. Anything to add to this? Russian, sir? We should be hearing from them very soon, sir. An offensive? Yes, I should think so, sir. Starting when? Soon. Russian motor attack from sector 279 is seen. What about your platoon? Two killed, one missing. Two killed? How? Bullets, mortar fire, artillery, heavy salvos, bad luck, terminal syphilis. Usual things, Captain. The missing man. Did you look for him, Steiner? No, sir. Why not? I felt that it'd be irresponsible of me to risk the safety of the entire platoon for the sake of one man. Non-commissioned officer does not permit a missing man in such a case. In any case. I'll try to do better next time, sir. I'd like to have that in writing. If you wish. You know, Corporal, oh, Sergeant, I have a feeling you somewhat overestimate your importance. At the moment, I am free of any such illusions, sir. Well, may I suggest to you that you do not underestimate your present company. Everything you are and may become is dependent upon this present company. No, I will not forget that, sir. But I may add that a man is generally what he feels himself to be. Of course. Of course. You're dismissed. I shall be back soon, sir. Is that a salute? Yes, sir. Trevig. Yes, sir. You must be careful, right, Steiner. He's taken a strong Our dislike to you. Over here. I'll survive. You're not dealing with just another Nazi party type. This one is pure Prussian military aristocracy and rich. Oh, Maggie, sister. Hey, why are you bringing in the apple? To eat you, grown idiot. Do you know the ruling classes? Come now, Lieutenant. What's left for him to rule? Don't be naive. Stransky will survive this war one way or another. And he'll still have his land, his wealth, and his status. But it will be very dangerous in defeat. Be careful with him. He doesn't live in the same world we live in. I know. He's living in my world now. Yeah, sure. Lieutenant. Yeah. Please, would you come inside for a minute? There's something I'd like to show you. Come on, don't just stand there drinking. Help us. <laughs> Thank you. I 
I didn't realize it. Yes, you oh, you forgot to wear a reconnaissance platoon. Happy birthday, Lieutenant Meyer. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Explain everything to the captain's orderly so he doesn't make any mistakes, will you? And take care of your uniform. He's rather strict about it. Russian vodka? Oh, German yeah. wine? Chickens? Oh, Mag, I don't know how we have stayed alive so long. <laughs> He's the best scavenger in the entire regiment. <laughs> Cheers to all of you. Cheers! 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 Cheers. 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 Here's to the last Russian bullet. Yeah. Cheers! Cheers. Ah. Here's to survival. Girlfriend, women. Yeah. 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 women. Here's women. to the women of Folie Berger. <laughs> <laughs> to the girls of the Riverbahn. Oh. Oh. Virginity. <laughs> Play your cards right, William, and you shoot a creepy. All you have to do is just bend over. Uh, <laughs> there comes the cake. Oh, cake. Captain Stransky should see this. Captain who? Uh, here's to the cake. Cheers to the cake. Cheers to the cake. Cheers to the cake. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What the hell we are doing here? What do you think the hell we are doing here? Playing birthday games yeah. right in the middle of all oh, that oh, shit? Drink, drink, you drink, shut up! Oh. And I'm talking! You want a oh. party? Okay, drink! Oh. Get drunk! Oh. Okay, oh. there's a bullet for you, too! To Fall off, you happy. assholes! Get drink! Come on! Oh. You oh. asshole! Oh. You don't touch me! You stink like oh. a shit oh. hole! You, oh. you oh. stink like a shit Don't spoil everything. This is Lieutenant Meyer's birthday. Happy birthday, Lieutenant. Have a good party. I'll have some more vodka. Yeah, fill it up. Yeah, here's oh, some vodka for everybody. I'm sorry. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, <laughs> Lieutenant Meyer has to have a meeting with our illustrious new commandant, Captain Stransky, whom we'll all meet shortly. This is not a funeral, gentlemen. This is a birthday party. Now, let's drink. We'll have a song. What the hell? So kalt, wie auch der kleinste Sonnenschein. Thank you, sir. Where were you stationed before you joined the battalion? In the south of France. Pieritz. <laughs> I know it well. Sit down. Sit down. Tell me about it. Such a beautiful country. Then being transferred must have come hard, hmm? I applied for it, as you did, sir. As I did. That's interesting. And you're orderly? You served together? In the south of France. <laughs> ah, those French girls. Comme... Elles sont délicieuses. <laughs> Those French girls, Trevig. I did have not much time to think about those French girls. Really? And you, Kepler? Did you enjoy the French girls? On occasion. 
sur le pont d'Avignon. On est danse, on est danse sur le pont. Let me ask you a question, Treby. Do you like soldiering? Certainly. I like it, sir. But it is strange at times. It is indeed a very different world. A world of danger and a world of men. A world without women. Hmm? <laughs> yes. A world without women. Thank you. It's an old theory of mine. Men can get along without women easily. Easily, I tell you. A man's true destiny is not just uh, breeding children, all this uh, childbirth and chocolate, but to be free. To rule and to fight. In other words, to lead a man's existence. Women are no more than a nuisance. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes necessary. I'm a soldier, sir. If I have to, I can do without women. Really? And you, Kepler? Can you do without women? I do as I am ordered, sir. <laughs> I like that. I like that answer. I do as I am ordered. I like that. What is your first name? Joseph. 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 If it will help you, I'll put your thoughts into the right words. You prefer the society of men to that of women at any and all situations, right? I don't understand, Captain. Come on, Trevi. You don't have to put up a front with me, with me of all people. What I said was right, wasn't it? You prefer the society of men to that of women. Come on, we're all soldiers. There's no harm in it. Say yes, for heaven's sake, man, say yes. Possibly. You said yes. You said yes. He said yes. Didn't he, Kepler? He said yes. You said yes. Didn't he, Kepler? He said yes. Didn't he, Kepler? Yes. Louder. Didn't he, Kepler? Louder. Say yes. Loud. Yes. Louder. Yes. Louder. Yes. I can assure you of this. If you get caught, you will be hanged slowly, both of you. Get out of here. Ammunition supplies running low. Sector three need more nine millimeter. Service platoon not secure. Perimeter taking line mortar shelling. Section Z forty seven no casualties. By the way, we didn't get mail. It's a big one. Thank you. Oh, I see. Take your hands off my life. <laughs> Melt! Oh, not again. Melt before burning. That's the rule. Sector 7. No activity. Get him outside. Can't get yourself outside. Come on, quick. No, 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 no. The Russians might think it's mustard gas. The Geneva Convention forbids the use of mustard gas. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Kerr. What type of exhaust pipe do you have, and when was it broken? I'm well organized and without problems. Are you equally guilty, Kruger? Is that your natural smell? 
Listen. Idiots. I stay dirty for a reason. If you'd been in the field as long as I've been, you'd know why. Explain. I learned after Stalingrad. Natural body oils combined with dirt can keep you waterproof. Waterproof? Sure. light. Rolf, what are we doing here? We are spreading the German culture throughout a desperate world. Didn't someone say that war is the highest expression in life of a truly cultured people? Yes, a foolish wise man in Frederick von Bernardi. Right. Yeah. And von Clausewitz said? Glosswitz, ah, Van Glosswitz said, war is a continuation of state policy. By other means. Yes. By other means. Do you ever think about your children, Roy? Always. Where are they? accident. An accident of hands. Mine, others. All without mind. One extreme to another. And neither works. Nor will ever. Here we stand in the middle. In no man's land.
probes transmit? A probe, sir? It's an avalanche! In force! <laughs> Sir, cut the fires needed at once! Otherwise, we'll be destroyed! We're overrun! Pull them out! I need help! Be calm, Stransky, you are not alone! I am Frank. What do you mean, I'm not alone, sir? I am alone! I am alone! <laughs> sector and find them. Then stand by and prepare to counterattack as quickly as possible. Yes, sir! I will be counterattacking, sir! Stay in your position! Hello! Counterattack. We are attacking! We are defending! We are counterattacking! I'm wounded, sir. Can I continue? I know my duty, sir. Don't worry. But I need ammunition!
look at me. Follow the light with your eyes. me again. Sergeant! All right. Did you sleep well? Reasonably. Quite usual in concussion. You've been like this for a week. You should return soon. Your records indicate multiple wounds over the last few years. Any residual effects? Headaches. Blurred vision. I can't urinate out of my left ear any longer. Otherwise, I feel rather well. The doctors recommend that you stay with us for another three weeks until they've completed your tests. Then they recommend home leave. Home? Snowbark? Attention, General von Hessel. Severe concussion, sir. He's been highly decorated. I want 65% of these men returned to active duty in three days. Ah, food. Delicious. Take the pig, the meat, and the wine into the private dining room. Come. Eat. Eat. Eat, everybody. Everybody. 
vegetables are good for you. They are with the compliments of the high command. someone else around here. Did I have a bad spell? Yeah. You were very violent. Violent? Violence should stop. It must stop. Say, violence must stop. Duty. No, I, I couldn't. They throw me out. To dance? <laughs> hold my bottle. I'll hold your waist. And we dance. Oh, this, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, Mark! Rolf? What the hell are you doing here? Lost? No such luck, Rolf. I got it in the leg. Same time you got it in the head. Strubach. My vacation's over, and it's back to the bad side of old Mother Russia. They took us all from our hospital. It looks like we're picking up some of your boys as well. You want to come along, or you're doing all right? Attention, men. Prepare to leave. Corporal! Hold this truck. What the hell are you talking about? That's an order, God damn it! Rolf? What? What is it? What? What's the matter? Go back. I thought you were going back home. I have no home. My home. Our home. Is that what's wrong with you, Steiner? Oh. 
Why are you afraid of what you will be without it? Long live Germany. Said to hold it right. Stein, I didn't mean it. You're crazy. <laughs> what? Hello, Sergeant. Hartwig. Schnuppert, how are you? Caught with your pants down again, huh? And so? Welcome back, Sergeant. Hello, Buck. Oh, hello. Good to have you back, Schnuppert. Ruger. You're back too soon. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Get your ass out of you old pirate. <laughs> Missed you. Missed you. Yeah. My, 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 what is this? That's a song. That's a party member. Song. With compliments of Captain Stransky. SS, Special Action Squad. You still a party member, Hollabuck? Well, well, if I'd dance with the party if I could find one. <laughs> hey, silence. The party is convinced we are winning the war. Yeah, sure, we're winning the war. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope you've memorized our serial numbers, our mother's maiden names, correctly. I wouldn't want to take a stop or to come and arrest the wrong man, woman, or child. I don't care what you believe, what you've done. Your duty is to us, the platoon, and me. You fulfill those responsibilities, or you will have a bayonet up your ass. Clear? Yes, sir. I'm playing nursemaid to the third squad. Any volunteers? <coughs> Not me. No chance. Go alone this time. Enjoy yourself. Thanks a lot. What have we here? A hawk and a hare, eh? I'll take you. Come on, have a drink. That's your bubbler. Cheers, Ron. Ah. Give me that. Come on. Gentlemen. Cheers. Some papers for you to sign, Captain. I'll sign them later. Stop that! Be careful with my JJ. Yes, sir. I have it treated correctly. Sergeant Steiner reporting is ordered, sir. Come in. Thank you. That will be all, gentlemen. Welcome back, Sergeant Steiner. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Well, now that you're back, and I'm glad you're back, I think we should make a fresh start together. But the main point is the regiment feels or believes that 
I deserve the Iron Cross now. And they have asked me to produce two witnesses to the fact that I let the counterattack and threw the Russians out of their positions. I have named Lieutenant Trebik and you. Especially you. Lieutenant Trebik has already submitted the signature. Am I to believe this is a private conversation? That would occur to you, wouldn't it? All right. Have some wine. A 36 Mosul. I'll have some. Thank you, Sergeant. But still remember that in civilian as well as in military life, the distinction is made between people. Is that what you meant when you said all you are and may become is dependent upon this present company? Well, the difference is a matter of uh, ethical and intellectual superiority, which is caused, whether you like it or not, by blood and by class difference. I remember correctly. Kant was a son of a saddle maker, and Schubert's father was a poor schoolmaster. Perhaps talent, sensitivity, the character are no longer privileges of the so-called upper class. Kant and Schubert were exceptions. We are talking about general concepts, not individuals. But I am one, and so are you. Didn't your Führer say that all class distinctions were to be abolished? I am an officer of the Wehrmacht. I have never been a party member. I'm a Prussian aristocrat, and I don't want to be put into the same category. So we agree for once. You still have a Führer. Unfortunately. Oh. That, is, uh, that is a different question, Sergeant. That's not up to us to judge. Why do you want it so badly? It's just a piece of worthless metal. Why is it so important to you? Tell me, Captain, why? Sergeant, if I go back... without the Iron Cross... I couldn't face my family. Personally, sir, I don't feel you deserve the Iron Cross.
the others. Dead, all dead. Three hours I've been here by myself. I don't ever want to be alone again. I don't ever want to be alone again. You won't. You won't. Why the hell wasn't I told of Steiner's return to the battalion? Apologize for that, sir. There were more important things to do. I want him here at once. Part of predicament of which I'm sure you don't need to be reminded. Clear, Stransky? Quite clear, sir. Now we shall see. I don't like the tone of his voice. I'm fed up with the whole situation. But it doesn't matter anymore. I know from reliable sources that headquarters have already written off. To burn bridgehead. And soon the whole Crimea will be a cul-de-sac. Report to Brandt. If you have the choice, Trebik, between Biarritz and Siberia, what would you choose? Steiner. Sit down, please, Daniel. How was hospital? Oh. Interesting. I recommend it. Did um, Captain Stransky lead the counterattack? The day Lieutenant Meyer was killed? Lieutenant Meyer led the attack. Captain Stransky was nowhere in sight. You're sure of that? I saw Lieutenant Meyer die. Pitch streaming. Stay, I want you to listen. Well, you signed your captain's report. Were you present when Captain Stransky led the counterattack? I accompanied Captain Stransky to the field and saw him calling several men around him. Then he sent me back to the command post. Then how do you know that Captain Stransky led the counterattack? You have signed a statement to that effect, Trevi. I wasn't there. I learned of it from wounded men who were returning. Can you give me the name of one of these wounded men? They were not staff men, just company men. I knew them only by sight. Besides the smoke, the battle, we have been under fire, sir. I want you to know, Trevi, that I have had your statement checked. Captain Kiesel will inform you of the results of our investigation. Our investigation so far has disclosed that the men in the second company who took part in the action declared unanimously that the action was led by Lieutenant Meyer. None of them saw Captain Stransky or Lieutenant Triebig. To my mind, there is nothing more contemptible 
and stealing the laurels which properly belong to a man who was killed in action. If Sergeant Steiner stands by his last testimony, I shall be compelled to institute disciplinary proceedings against the captain. And you. Yes, sir. Do you stand by your statement that Captain Stransky was not with the company? in three or four days, sir. Did you see Stransky or not? <sighs> you may go, Trebek. You're no longer needed. What in God's name has got into you? This is your chance. You're the only person that stands between Stransky and his Iron Cross. And you could be called as a primary witness against him in a court of honor. My differences with Captain Stransky are a personal matter. Now, listen to me. You know that I have always shown a great deal of understanding for you, but I'm becoming tired of battling with your superiors. I never ask you to. Didn't ask me to? You never asked me to. Are you out of your mind? Steiner, why are you so ungrateful? What do I have to be grateful for, Captain? Your tolerance? You think that just because you and Colonel Brandt are more enlightened than most officers that I hate you any less? All officers, all the Stranskys, all the Three Pigs, all the Iron Cross scavengers, now hold the German army. Have you any idea what you're saying? Do you know how much I hate this uniform and everything it stands for? God. Get out. Please just get out. Regimental headquarters. Division headquarters, sir. General von Kennigshofen. General Brandt. Yes, General. Yes, sir. I didn't know it was as bad as that. Well, we're pulling back to the bridgehead at Kuban. No rear guard, not even Steiner's platoon. We are not retreating, we are running. Stransky? Yes, Captain Kiesel? I was just about to leave. Don't leave just yet. Now listen to me. Regiment feels that it is unwise and also suicidal to leave behind any rear guard platoons, including Steiners. I want them to join the evacuation immediately. You understand that? Yes, Captain. Trebek? All rear guard platoons to join the evacuation immediately. Shall I notify Steiner's platoon? Yes. Give me Steiner.
regiment. Regimental headquarters, come in, please. Regimental headquarters, come in, please. Regimental headquarters, come in, please. Can you hear me? Anybody come in, please? Thanks. Strategy, can you hear me? Ruger! All the lines are out.
Captain Pucher reporting, sir. Ah, yes, Captain. You have your orders? And a letter for you, to be delivered personally. Thank you. You can guess what this is, can't you? Uh, transfer. <laughs> exactly. Our Stransky is to report to Paris within a week. Captain Pucher. My artery will see to your ability. But don't unpack everything. We might be going away. Captain. Stransky. Without Steiner to contradict him, he'll get his iron cross and strut all around Paris, the arrogant, unbloody bastard. Stransky in Paris and Steiner. God knows where he'll be. What seems us? What? 22, 23 kilometers between here and Annapa. Marshland, wilderness. It's the same trap behind the Russian lines again, shit, again, shit, again. Yes, take your gun again, shit. Again, shit, again. We'll try the road. Never get over this this road. Shh. What's your hurry, kid? We get out of this mess in time for the next one. Steiner. Steiner, it's clear now. Cattle cars, or whatever they are sending, are due to arrive in 1,200 hours, provided, of course, that the Russian sappers have not blown up the track. Any questions? No, sir. Dismissed. Carry on probing and aggressive actions all along the front. Listening. You too. I beg your pardon. Who needs a railroad track? When we break out of here, we'll push on with the Blitzkrieg through Stalingrad, right up to the outskirts of Moscow. What will we do when we lose the war? Prepare for the next one. I think he will get through. Steiner. I don't see how he can. Let's have go bring solid. What is it? Rich. Just bring what you need to kill with.
It's a game. A game? It's a kid's game. It's bad luck to step on sunlight. I thought perhaps if I missed the beams, we would all come through this all right. Принесли поскорее чего-нибудь пожирать. Тут с голоду подул. Ты же недавно жрал. А такой работенки проголодает. Да сколько нет, не спорю. Когда получил письмо? Вчера. Что пишет? До дома нет хлеба. Первый номер. Эй, друзья, я и помогаю округ ножа. А это намного важнее. Солдатам нужно оружие. Что с моим ножом? Кончайте базар. Надо работать. Weapons out of here. Ruger, upstairs. Starbucks, perimeter. Check to the other buildings. Come here. Let me get more. Get over there. Do what you want. Come on, pretty rabbit. 
<laughs> Don't hide from me. Check the radio. Get that body out of here. And Sam. Stay there! Basic positions in front of the Napa. Good. <laughs> and we're halfway home. I'll thank the ladies and tell them to take their clothes off. And what shall we do with the bodies? Who's going to keep them warm? Tell them we want the tunics and the trousers. Anyway. We are going to die anyway. Let me, let me eat one. Нам нужны ваши униформы. Ваши тела. Не интересны. Я же сказал. Посевайтесь. Стой тихо. Слышишь? Мейджор. Мейджор? of you put these uniforms on. With Mary! With Mary! Uh, Nancy, put the cloth here. Come on, go over there with the rest of them.
believe in God, Sergeant? I believe God is a sadist. But probably doesn't even know it. Ah! <coughs> so for me. There's a man here that I would like to get out. Quickly. I've spoken to you about him before. If there is a chance that he could leave with your headquarters staff, I would be most grateful. Thank you, sir. They're rooting up both flanks. Chaos. That need no longer concern you. You are to report at once to general headquarters. You're being evacuated. Well, I am still in a condition to issue orders. Those orders will be obeyed. I'm prepared to disobey that order, sir. You've been around Stanley too long. Come, listen to me for a moment. For many of us Germans, the exterminator is long overdue. But I have decided that you are worth saving. But I'm part of all this. There are better people than me. Most of them are being killed out there. There's nothing wrong with you except that you smoke too much. You're a brave man, braver than you think you are. One of these days, there will be a need for brave civilians. Did you thought of that? In the new Germany, if such a thing is allowed to exist, there will be need for builders, for thinkers, for, for poets. I begin to see now what your job is to be. I will make this my final order to you. You will search out and contact all of these um, Better people, you call them? And together, you will take on the responsibility that goes with survival. Now, you must leave. Please leave. Brown! Take Captain Kiesel to the railhead! through the Russian trenches. It's just only a matter of time. They'll be building them for a thousand years. Not here, somewhere else. <laughs> Not Germany. <laughs> Germany. You think they'll ever forgive us for what we've done? Or forget us? We'll make it. 
We will make it. With your help. To tell you the truth, I'm... I'm really beginning to enjoy it. What do you want? Uh, you're sitting in some mud hole someplace, waiting for the top of your head to be blown off? At least here we're free. Steiner. Steiner. We have to do is hope our own artillery doesn't get us. Or the landmines. <laughs> 200 meters to go. And send. Try yes. to raise somebody on that radio. Tell we're coming in at dawn. We need a password. What's uh, it's a password? Uh, reconnaissance patrol with several Russian prisoners. And no shooting. Password, Kruger, goddammit. Demarcation. Why not? Demarcation. Demarcation signage Steiner. Special password. Demarcation. Sign Steiner. Coming in with prisoners? Looks like a trap. My thoughts exactly, sir. They may have been captured. Wolf. Sir? Did you recognize the voice? No, sir. It was in code. Good code. Demarcation. Trebek. If in the dark, you saw half a dozen men, some in Russian uniforms, advancing on you. Could anyone blame you if you opened fire? Who? Oh. Will you check the situation for me and uh, take care of it? 
We do like Biarritz, don't you? You do like the south of France, don't you? Carry their weapons. The rest of you make sure your hands are clearly placed behind your heads. I'll go first, Sergeant. No, God damn it, Schnurbart. Might be some asshole who didn't know what the message is. No, I go. Both. You've been responsible for all of us. This time, I'm responsible for you. Take us in. Oh, my God. 
get my men. Oh, Go! Stop it! Search the bottles! Bloody Nazi swine! Stop! Swine! It's all Sansky's orders! I had no part in it! Yeah, sorry. He's dead. I had no part in it! A private did, sir. On your own. If I don't find you join up with another outfit, another platoon. A desert. Uh, I don't care, it doesn't matter anymore. But... Where are you going? To pay my debts. You are our platoon leader. This thing isn't over yet. You're the new platoon leader. And Selm is your platoon. It should make you happy, you old pirate. Steiner! 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 is worsening here. You're needed. If my orders are here. And they are here, sir. And if my replacement is already with the company. You may leave, Stransky.
Your tribing is dead. It didn't work, Captain. I live. You are dead. Lieutenant Trevig has not been under my command for several hours. He has been transferred. Uh, aristocratic. Man of Prussian pig shit. Without your iron cross, Captain. It's just a matter of time. Where's the rest of your platoon? I said, where's the rest of your platoon, Sergeant Steiner? Show you how a Prussian officer can fight. Then I will show you how the Iron Crosses grow. Ha, 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 ha. 
Stop, <laughs> 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 <laughs>